we have a survey of 400 households. 285 had personal video recorders and 320 had multifunction printers. And 63 households did not have PVRs or MFPs. So let P represent the set of households with a PVR. Let M represent the set of households with an MFP. And let X represent the number of households that have both a PVR and an MFP. So mark X and 63 in the appropriate parts of the Venn diagram. So it says here that X represents the number of households that have both a PVR and an MFP. So that represents the intersection of these two sets. So this is going to cause a bit of problem, cause a bit of a problem because that's our intersection, right? And if you remember with that last question, we need to know what that intersection was before we could figure out, well, for example, just P or just M. So we'll see, we'll just hold off on that for now. Um, next, they want us to mark the 63 in the appropriate part. Okay, so where does the 63 go? Well, it says 63 households did not have a PVR or an MFP. So that's the number of households that are outside of those two regions or those two circles. All right, part B. So write an expression for the number of households who have a PVR and not an MFP. Well, it says here that 285 have PVRs. So if you think about PVRs, it's this region plus this region. So together, those should sum to 285, which is kind of the same problem we ran into before, right? If you don't know the middle one, how do you know what goes in, well, just this region? And you don't technically know what goes in the middle, but we know enough information that we can build an expression that represents that region, right? It'll be 285 minus the middle. So this is 285 minus x. And then they want us to write an expression for the number of households who have an MFP and not a PVR. So that would be 320 minus the middle region. And now for part D, we need to form an equation in X and determine the number of households in the survey who had both an MFP and a PVR. So this is what we're looking for. Right, what does that equal? So somehow we have to build an equation using all the information that we see here to be able to solve for X. So there's one bit of information that we haven't quite used, right? The total number of households equals 400. Well, what happens if we sum up one, two, three, four regions? What should they sum to? They should sum to 400. So I know 400 is equal to 63 plus 285 minus x plus x plus 320 minus x. So here's our equation that we have to solve. So what we're going to do, we will uh, we'll put like terms together and then eventually get x by itself. So negative x plus x cancels out. Over here we have 400. If we put the 63, the 285, and the 320 together, we end up with 668 minus x. Well, I'll move x over here. I'll move the 400 to the left-hand side. And we figure out that x equals 268. So what we found is that 268 households have 